it's, it's a series of activities um, that brings the required goods and services from the supplier to the end user or to the client. That is basically what we're trying to set up. We're trying to align all of our processes. Um, we have built a structure around our processes, which is a new approach. Um, in the past, uh, people would think in the conventional way of, of building sections based on technical areas, if you want. Um, we are building sections that are following the natural workflow. Um, where in the supply chain management service, for example, we have established four sections. So the first section, the acquisition planning, inventory management and the tracking section, is, is where the requests come in, where we do our, our performance checks of how we are doing, this is how we are, where we are starting to look at the requirements. And the second section is the actual operation sections, where once the requirement is identified, um, then we will actually you know, source it, um, we, we bring it to the mission, uh, we do the whole uh, inbound logistics, and uh, we forward it to um, our bases in uh, Mombasa and uh, Mogadishu. So the whole workflow is is owned by a single entity, um, and that single entity has only four elements in it. So this is this is definitely new. Um, we're also bundling a lot of activities together, for example, through the integrated warehouse. Um, instead of having six um, individual um, warehouses and assets management units and uh, assets managers and inventories, we are now integrating all of this and we have one, so we have one workflow. We are using uh, four main principles for our work. Now these are reliability, responsiveness, agility, and uh, efficiency. Now, when we talk about the reliability, basically we want to be more reliable in providing service to our clients. And uh, on the other end of the supply chain, we also need to ensure that our suppliers are more reliable. The best way to do it is to start communicating. So we have already achieved some amazing results only in the first few weeks by setting up uh, meetings with all of our suppliers uh, um, vendors, uh, global vendors that uh, actually come from headquarters. Um, so that's the reliability. In terms of responsiveness, uh, we were very bad in terms of how fast we can react to customers' needs. And we are now changing this in the sense of that through the process re-engineering activities, we are shortening our processes. We're shortening the cycle time to get stuff from the suppliers to the end user. We have estimates uh, that we will be able to reduce the overall cycle time of our sourcing process, for example, by between 30 and 40 percent by simply streamlining the processes of having people sit next to each other and talk to each other rather than sending an email or sending a document. In terms of the agility, um, we are trying to be more flexible and, and adapt ourselves better to the conditions on the ground. And in regard to the efficiency, obviously we're trying to, to cut our cost. Now by reducing the overall cycle time of our processes, we're already reducing administrative costs. So, you know, um, again, these are, these are little initiatives um, that we have started taking, but uh, they will make a huge, uh, huge change. Yeah.